Okay, here's the finale. The Outshines escape. All right, as always, the intro. Dong Duo has finally been defeated. The pain, the suffering, the sacrifices. For Diao Chan, everything she had endured was for this moment. Soon after, Diao Chan convinces the politically inept Lu Bu to support the restoration of the Han Dynasty. Thus, the Han Dynasty regains its former glory. Lu Bu is stripped of his power, and his forces are disbanded. Wen Yun, Diao Chan's father and mastermind behind the fall of Dong Zhuo, has passed away, and Diao Chan no longer has a home to return to. Diao Chan decides that she must part with Lu Bu. After quietly departing the capital, she begins to travel west alone. But a figure can be seen in the distance, furiously pursuing Diao Chan. This figure is none other than Lu Bu. Alright, the equipment. We have the same weapon, obviously. Uh, the items I'm going to keep the same. However, I'm going to change the bodyguard equipment. Uh, we have a level 3 pike. I'm going to try to get that level 2. If I don't get it, then that's fine. But at the end of the day, I'm going to try to collect everything. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it as much because, well, I already have level 3, you know? So that's fine by me. Anyway. Everything else is the same. The conditions. If I break through all five gates, we win. If I die, we lose. If time runs out, we lose. Plain and simple. Unit info. Well, it's not much now. Um, it's similar to Guan Yu's escape. Except that this time around, we don't have a carriage to worry about to protect. And uh, it's... Some of Lubu's officers, as well as later on, as you'll see, remnants of Wei, Shu, and Wu's forces that uh, retreated and that didn't die in the previous battles. But, uh, yeah. It, it, like I said, it's similar to Guan Yu's escape, except it's Yao Chan. But, um, except, well, one other exception is that instead of Zhao Dun, it's uh, Lu Bu that would start chasing you. But, uh, Let's get to the battle, so uh, let's do it. My lord. She's gone. I'm going after her. Saddle right here. My role in this struggle is done. My battle is finally over. Now, it would be nice to live for myself for a change. Father, you would wish that for me, would you not? Trying to deceive my lord! Unforgivable! Dio Chan, you should not be allowed to go any further! Alright, we're gonna go for Song Xion first, then Wei Shu. For some reason, I was attacking Wei Shu. Alright, so that's one down. Now Wei Shu. And I'll say this right now. This is one of the tougher levels in my opinion. Well, obviously for the fact that it's the last level, but it's tough to begin with. Alright, we defeated Wei Shu. All right, so Bandits. Now of all times? That's what I meant by remnants of uh Wei Shun Wu. 
uh, Lu Meng and Tai Shuisa both appear and uh, they're gone in the next gate. It's just like I, like I said, it's just like Guan Yu's escape. You have to defeat both, well, in this case, both generals in order to uh, proceed. But uh, in Guan Yu's escape, all you had to defeat was the general. But in some cases like this, you have to defeat both uh, both people who got in the gate. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to continue on. If you uh, go to this clay pot over here, you break it. That's the Musa One location. Just make sure you don't skip it because I skipped it so many times playing this game. Trying to find it at first. It wasn't fun. Alright, you're going first. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, and I think this is obvious, unless you haven't played the other Musou modes yet, this is the only Musou mode that the finale is actually a 30-minute uh, battle. Uh, it's one of the small battlefields. Because it's usually Siege of Hefei Castle, Namon Campaign, or the Battle of Wuxiang Plains. Just for the fact that it's a completely fiction uh, Musou mode, well, some of it's a little accurate. For example, Lu Bu betrays Dong Zhuo. But, uh. The last battle for Diao Chen is. Diao Chen's escape. And that's the 30 minute, uh. We have a 30 minute time frame. And this is the only Musa mode that has that. So, something new. I mean, something, uh. Just a fun fact for you. Anyway, uh. Lu Meng. Killed my lord. And honestly, I do not want to take my sweet time doing this at the same time. I do not want to die. Because getting to, well, once Lubu appears, that's a problem and a half. Especially later on when you have to defeat Lubu to get the Chan's fifth weapon. Which I'll probably be doing. More likely I will. So, yeah. I am really scared for that one. And mind the bodyguards for the fact that these are the only troops or allies that we actually have. And running into those ointments is always nice. Alright. Uh, where's my horse? There it is. Alright. I gotta go back and grab something. If it's there. If it's not, then we're gonna go... We're gonna continue forward. And it is not here. Okay. There's usually items on this map that you gotta get. Well, not you don't have to, but items and weapon uh, boxes. But I'm assuming it's similar to Dynasty Warriors 3, where they only appear when you're playing as the. Uh, well, I just. If, if you wanna call it cat and mouse, the cat. Anyway, that's just a. Uh, I wasn't really farming for item locations last time I played this, so... Because when I played on Lubu's Musu mode, all I did was immediately chase Diao Chan and defeated her. So... We'll see once we get there. 
abandoned me? Oh. And since we both, well, since we, yeah. Let me say that without screwing up. Since we defeated both Lu Meng and Taishu, this gate opens. Now, Zhang He and Zhao Dun both appear. Don't worry, Zhao Dun is not as difficult as it was in uh, Guan Yu's escape. However, don't take it as he's easy. Because he's not. Anyway, Zhang He is first. Where might you be going? And I don't know if you noticed it, but some of the uh, general intros are a little bit different from normal. Uh, it's for specifically for Diao Chen, but uh, let's see what happens here. All we have to do is defeat Zhang He and then Zhao Dun, then we open the next gate. I love it that he does that and he gets knocked out too. All right, there we go. That screwed up my combo. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not caring as much just because he dropped the weapon and weapons are unpredictable because it could be either a bodyguard weapon or a regular weapon and we won't even know until the, the bitter end. Anyway, we continue on, defeat what's left of these troops here. Alright, another healing ointment. Alright. Ah, oh, man. Yes, and I, I, I want to mention, yes, it's been a while since I actually uploaded a video. I've been really busy through the holidays. And I will say again, I hope everyone's holidays was awesome. But, uh, yeah, I'm back and uh, I'm glad to be back. And, um, yeah. And now I'm more motivated to continue on with the... Uh, videos because well this entire LP has been way too long for obvious reasons because well we have to go through a lot and um yeah and the only thing I really need to do after these Musa modes is collect the items that I missed and then the fourth and fifth weapons that's pretty much it I'll probably either show a little uh, when it comes to maxing out my items off recording, I might do a couple of small uh, cuts, uh, a small video on that. But uh, other than that, the rest will be off camera. But the fourth and fifth weapons will be shown, and yeah, I'm really scared for the fifth weapons. Fourth, not as much because I've actually obtained maybe at least half of them. So I'm not that worried when it comes to the fourth weapons, but fifth weapons, yeah. Anyway, let's go with the feet, Shao Jun. We've been waiting. All right, let's keep these guards away from Shao Jun, and uh, there we go. hate when they do a backflip in midair. That just ruins your combo. However, once they die, you're fine.
I got a plus eight gold shield. That works for me. All right. So I'll mention something right here, right now. I mentioned it in Guan Yu's Musa mode. In Guan Yu's Musa mode, if you cross the third gate, Jaho Dune appears. However, that will not happen with the Ao Chan's uh, Musa mode, the Ao Chan's escape. And there's an item that you could obtain here, actually. Sweet. So I guess it's not all from uh, Jaho Dune to South South forces. Anyway, in order for Lubu to appear, you have to defeat. Well, the fourth gate opens and then Lubu automatically appears. So, that's how Lubu will come out and start chasing you. He will, You have to open the fourth gate and then Lubu will appear. Alright, so now Huang Zhong and Zhao Yun both appear. to take you to the gates of hell. Alright, so far so good. That just ruined my combo by the stairs. Alright, another plus eight. Alright, so... Now we have Zhao Yun to deal with, and um, yeah, and then the fourth gate will open, and then Lu Bu will appear. And that's the part that I'm worried about is Lu Bu. I'm not concerned about anything else. The one thing I'm concerned about is defeating Lu Bu. Now we're gonna go for Zhao Yun. I, Zhao Yun shall oppose you. Oh, I was one hit away. Ow. Not cool. Not cool at all. Alright. Yeah, I don't care about the plus eight anymore with that one. So yeah, like I just said, once that gate opens, Lubu will come out, along with two more units guarding the fifth gate. However, you have to defeat Lubu for that gate to open. So both Zhang Liao and Gao Shun are both there. And I'm going to try to get to those two immediately because defeating Lubu isn't easy. I mean, you thought Battle Hulao Gate was hard, but no. This battle is a lot tougher. Because not only it's Lubu, but he's the commander, basically. Well, he has the commander traits, so... Yeah, you're gonna have some problems. Alright, so now we're gonna go and defeat Gao Shun. Uh, let's see here. 
I want to see if there's any. Oh, great. Last thing we need are archers. I just a little AI like that man to do that big of an attack. Well, he sent me flying. That just made no sense. Anyway, that takes care of all the archers. Now let's defeat Gao Shun. If I could get to him. There we go. Alright, now. And stop shielding, then the usual thing. All right, now we'll go for Zhang Liao next. Yeah, I'm going to skip those and then just continue on. Because we need to get rid of these crossbows and archers before Lu Bu appears. Is the fate of one who lives in these times. His crossbows and archers have to be the worst combo I ever seen in this game. Ow, that is not funny. You know what? Let's. Ah, I thought that was a. I thought that was a battle axe. Alright, let's find and kill that archer that's annoying the living hell out of me. Either that or just send Zhang Liao flying and keep him away from the archers. That was a bad idea. There we go. Completely missing attacks is the last thing you need. Alright, hopefully this pot has something in it. I have found my place of rest. Farewell. Alright, where's Lubu? Oh crap. He already crossed the fourth gate. So let's try to kill as many as we can. Before yeah, before Lu Bu appears, let's try to find a healing ointment, if we can. If you turn your back on me. Alright, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm scared, I am really scared right now. Cause there's no health anywhere. The best thing I could really do right now is hope I kill some troops and Stay away from Lubu and continue on with my Musu attacks. Okay, healing ointment. Just what I needed. Alright. You can't get any luckier than that. Now I should be able to defeat Lubu without freaking out. And there'll be a lot of freakouts when it comes to fourth weapons, I will assure you. Hopefully. If anyone's a big fan of, you know, running scared. 
So I should be fine now, unless the, his guards don't interfere, then yeah, I should be fine. Good thing he drove me into a wall. That way I could bounce back quickly. Alright. Now, the usual trick. Unless he flips, I should be fine. Oh, first time you see the time limit left. You are strong, Yao Chan. You are magnificent. Yeah, so once ten minutes are left, or you have ten minutes left before. Yeah, so once 10 minutes is left, it will show on the top right. That way it will give you a warning. Well, it's more of a warning in a way. But uh, anyway, we have completed it. So let's go through this gate and finish this battle. I guess that's it. It's over. And that's a win. All right. So obviously it took at least 20 minutes because we had 10 minutes left on the thing. That's the first time that's ever happened. So that's what would happen if you're running out of time. It took 20 minutes and change. And uh, we obviously defeated everybody. So, oh, and also one other thing. Once Lu Bu if you defeat Lu Bu and Zhang Liao and Gao Shun both... Uh, are still alive, they will retreat, so we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, let's see what we got. Okay, a level 3, a level 1, yuck. Alright, we're gonna stick with that one, and that. Items, uh, plus 37, not bad. However, if I'm not mistaken, in my regular, uh, on my regular memory card, I think I have a plus 39. So, Yes, it's good, but at the same time, I think I also got a plus 39 on that. I'm not so sure. You will see that once we get back to the regular game. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. You got a level 3 bodyguard weapon. Another level 3 bodyguard weapon. Okay. So we're stuck with the level 3. We don't have a level 2. Probably the next Musa mode, I might just try to grab that level 2. But, you know, we'll see what happens. And we got bodyguard items. Oh my god, okay, that's the max you could actually get in this game. So, that's one less thing, well, in a way, I have to do it all over, so I can't do that. Okay, well, that's the max item we could get in that game, well, in that one. Um, the bodyguard items, the highest you could go is 20, so, yeah. So that's one maxed out item that you would see. Um... Like I said before, I may show off a couple of them, just as like a small montage. Not so sure yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. We have 128 KOs, which only got 81 points, but we can't really do much since the troops are limited. We defeated everybody, which is 11 worthy opponents. Uh, we didn't really focus on combos as much, but I'm not focusing on combos at the moment. Once we get that item, however, well, once I try to go for it, I will focus on combos. So we got a good 5,000 points. And will we be able to get another growth point? And another reason I'm going to mention why I had him in defense. I had him in attack up before. Just to try to get a quick feel of the game since it's been a while. 
Lubu defeated every single one of my bodyguards once I got there. So I kept it at that, and we didn't get any growth points. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. We're going to save. And here's the ending for Diao Chen.
And that's the Musa Mo for Dio Chen. So that's three down. One more to go. Gonna go to the uh do the thing that we always do. You know, as always. So we completed the Alchan's Musa mode. It's it was a fun ride, but uh at the end of the day, uh we need to continue on with the other Musa modes. So I said before, I mean I'll 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 probably say it every time now, that uh we I have decided a, a, a certain order I'm gonna do these in. I'm gonna do it in order by you defeating the, uh, that we defeat them in uh, well that they were defeated in history in a way. Zhang Jiao was first, in the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Dong Zhu was next because uh, he was slain by Lu Bu. Uh, even though it's not in real history, Diao Chan's a fictional character. You usually defeat Diao Chan before de defeating Lu Bu at Xia Pi. Uh, and then next we're gonna go for is Lu Bu. So. Yeah, and after that we do you want Xiao, then Zhu Rong, and then Meng Huo, since Meng Huo takes seven times to defeat him. Anyway, so the next Musa mode we'll be doing is Lu Bu, the main, uh, the uh, cover character for this game. Anyway, that was Diao Chen's Musa mode, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part, which will be the first part for Lu Bu's Musa mode. Which I really can't wait for. Anyway, uh, by the way, not anyway, but uh, yeah. Anyway, peace.